and I'm just surprised calling yourself book smart you would send me such studies you, you were very certain of this when we spoke and then you sent me a load of bull so far which i understand i get it okay i've been a bit of a smug okay good and obviously he <laughs> likes mr girl so i'm thinking well that's a problem what do you think of uh, the nickname of you which uh, I, I heard someone say really offensively uh, book and i'm just thinking mm. like well you're supposed to be a doctor bro Oh no. Oh dear. What's this? Did I say that? <laughs> Did I say that? Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh no. <laughs> oh, oops. That one must have slipped out. Oops. <laughs> Book smarts, do you want to talk? Do you want to talk, Book Dan smarts? You're up for a chat. Are both landlords. Let that sink in Chud Jagakant. Book stupid? No. Book retard. That's what we're going to be calling him from now on. Book stupid? No. Book retard. That's what we're going to be calling him from now on. <laughs> you got to have that as a, as a notification on your stream, Book Smarts. you got to have that as a notification on your stream, bro. Come on. Talk to me. This is what the people want. This is what the people want, bro. Send me a DM to confirm your consent. You need to consent to this, okay? Before I fuck you. You need to consent before I fuck you. Hello, mate. How's it going? Can you hear me? Hello? Oh, hello. You're coming through loud and clear. Oh, okay. Hi. What's up? Um, what's up? Um, not much. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Uh, you've been popping off. The Dr. K stuff looks like it's going well, right? Um, yeah. I mean, you know, obviously... You know, I'm very open about the fact I'm all about the content on the Chud Logic channel. Um, I do have like some some more substantive critiques, I guess, some salient points to make. Um, Graham, I'll be nicer this time. I won't be like, uh, you know, debate bro with you. I'll be, I'll be chill. Okay, you, you, okay. Listen, you know, I love you, but you were being intentionally annoying last time, weren't you? Yeah, I don't know if you've caught it on my stream. I'm trying to like um, have fun with all the content that I'm doing. And I was like, oh, it'd be fun to like debate bro Chud right now. Okay. Um, so I tried it out. It was fun. But yes, it, it it was mean to you. And I'm sorry, baby. Okay, listen, I'm listen. It's all good. My I do have some concerns, though, because I'm just a bit like uncertain about what the deal is with your position on all this. Okay. Sure. Um, now, I was going to review it actually but didn't didn't get round to it so i'm just going to ask you plainly um off the back of our last conversation do you believe that homeopathy is any more than a placebo no okay good do you believe it's more than a placebo did you read something about that or um no no not at all um what i looked at could kind of confirm what I'd said, which is that it is just a placebo and nothing more. Okay. Um, and I guess I was just a bit concerned because some of the links you sent me in an incredibly smug way were complete bunk and bullshit. And I'm just surprised calling yourself book smart, you would send me such shit studies. Yeah. Um, I talked with, uh, with Supreme afterwards there were a lot of things I thought was made clear in the wording of the message that definitely were not. And if you combine that with me being uh, very aggro with you, <laughs> we talk. <laughs> okay. I understand it. So yeah, um, those sources weren't good. They're just like the first things that I grabbed off of uh, like the Google Scholar search, which is what I said there. Um, yeah. Um, like that's not to excuse like that the sources are good somehow. I just want to make that clear. Like, yeah. Um, they're from sources that are clearly going to want the outcomes that they're going for. Um, and, uh, yeah. Okay. So one other thing I, like, I did, sorry, come can, on. Can I say one other thing? Yeah, please Because do. I am, I, I am giving you this little thing. Um, <clears throat> so there's two things. One, it's not like backpedal smarts. I don't think, um, cause this is something that I thought I made clear in the message. If I didn't make clear in the message, that's totally my bad. And I own that. But like the positions that I have are still exactly the same as when we spoke. Like I don't think the position about um, 
it being a placebo is different, right? Because we talked about how placebos are going to be helpful, especially in things like, you know, therapy or things like pain reports or things like that. So like all of those points are still exactly the same here. Um, you know, I, I'm just, I agree with you about the sources, um, but sure. you know, mm. Um, it could, because the, the, can, yeah, and I would hope that you would agree that introducing vulnerable people to, um, say like homeopathic practitioners or alternative medicine practitioners who have got like, in some cases, a kind of history of throwing shade at, you know, regular medicine and stuff like that. It could lead to circuit. And in fact, there was a study that I found that suggested that cancer patients who take, who, who engage with alternative medicine, um, I can send it to you. Uh, you know, I'm paraphrasing massively, but they can sometimes um, neglect to engage with the kind of normal medicine, like immunotherapy that would help them for the sake of continuing on with alternative therapy. And that can actually cause them to like die because they don't continue on with immunotherapy. So there's actual risks of like engaging with alternative therapy with some conditions of alternative medicine um, beyond just like, oh, well, it's a placebo. It's fine. It could actually lead to bad outcomes in some cases. Yeah. And okay. through your research, did you kind of find that like on that topic, there's kind of two minds about it. There are the people that are concerned that by encouraging or, you know, allowing patients to do homeopathic therapy, like you said, it could lead to them choosing that in lieu of modern medicine or in lieu of treatments that we know are effective for like the underlying causes of their problems. And then on the other side, there are the people that are concerned that if we don't even humor them about these beliefs, whether it's about acupuncture or homeo, uh, homeopathy or whatever else, then we're going to lose them right off the bat. And so the is that something that you found when you were researching or? Well, the thing is, is, um, you know, I had I had a look at, um, I, you know, I, I'm, you know, bear in mind, I'm an idiot when it comes to this stuff, self-admitted idiot, you know. But when I was looking, I couldn't really find anything that suggested that, um, you know, we ought to be like, or doctors ought to be permissive of alternative medicine for the purposes of like not scaring them away or something like that. If there's something out there, like I'd happily look at it. Um, but in in my mind, it would just kind of, to, to me, the way I look at it is like, if you go to a doctor, say, and you say, I'm having homeopathic treatment, what do you think about that? I think the doctor would have to be honest about that. I don't think that they could just be like, oh, well, yeah, so it's, it's all right because, you know, it's helping you out in your own head. They'd have to like say there's no clinical evidence that supports that homeopathy does anything. Um, and this is the treatment that I would recommend as a doctor. Now, whilst I feel I think you would probably agree that, the, you know, that would be the right thing for the doctor to do. In what you were saying, it kind of suggested there might be some circumstances with homeopathy specifically where the inverse might be true and the doctor might be permissive of it in some way. Um, um, yeah. So like using, um, what you've just explained, I would say that both can happen at the same time. So you can be honest about like, what do, wh what do the clinical studies that you've looked at say about the efficacy of it while also at the same time being like, but if that's making you feel better, like there are things that say that this can improve, you know, pain responses, or this can improve your satisfaction. If you're feeling good doing that in addition to your other stuff that will not interfere with the drugs that you're taking if it does interfere then they should definitely tell them no but um like I, I think both of these things can exist at the same time in like like does that make sense or no yeah sure and well i think for me it would make more sense with something like acupuncture because i know i was looking at like acupuncture on the nhs i tend to look to the nhs as a kind of quite a credible source for medical information um and they do sometimes in rare circumstances prescribe acupuncture. And in fact, there's some evidence that even chiro chiropractic or something in limited cases can help with some lower back pain, um, even though generally it's considered to be, you know, not, not a kind of legit medical treatment. In some circumstances, it might help. So, yeah, in circumstances like that, sure. Um, but like everything I've read about homeopathy as an example, and this is what I kind of I think got focused on with this because that's where our conversation focused around you know it is no more than a than a placebo and I don't think the placebo effect in itself justifies a doctor necessarily saying oh yeah homeopathy is okay like as long I, I guess you know we do kind of agree in, on the whole in that as long as a doctor says it's okay that's fine as long as your primary health care vision is okay that's fine but I just struggle to believe there's a circumstance where a doctor would just give the A-OK -okay to like homeopathy I don't know Okay. Yeah. Homeopathy is definitely like, 
I think um, looking back on it, we probably should have spoken in terms of alternative medicine because that's that's really like zooming out that that's more or less what the argument is is that if people want alternative medicine having that in addition to other treatments so long as it doesn't interfere with them is like fine and and i know for the and i i'm sorry just to clarify as well um the correct i don't want to be pedantic here but like alternative medicine is when it's um applied as an alternative literally alternative it's complementary medicine is the correct term when it's used alongside oh, okay right that's just to be clear Sure. Yeah. So like complementary medicine, um, even if it doesn't, uh, you know, have clinical studies or whatever to back it up. Um, like I, I know that the UK is different, but here, um, for instance, if you get an injury at work, like I got an injury at work, they give you a lot of shit that you can do. So they give you physical therapy, which I think is most of what's helping you. But they also like forced me to choose some alternative thing that I had to do, whether it was chiropractic or uh acupuncture or there there was some other weird fucking thing where they like light a fire under teacups and like put it on my back or some bullshit i tried all of it i i think that the idea there is that regardless of what you're attributing your like success welcome to like to uh when you're rehabbing or whatever i think that the evidence backs up that it's probably the physical therapy helping your back or helping your injury um or other medical things that you're doing but sometimes people can come out of the chiropractor's office and feel like oh okay that that was what did it now i feel great and whatever like i think all of these just like kind of help people feel more positive like the healthcare system is trying to do a bunch for them but if i were in your situation in the uk i'd be kind of pissed that my money is being spent on that shit like that's a little doofusy um you know, I didn't care because the company was paying for it. But if it was coming from my tax dollars, I'd be like, no, I think the the NIH or whatever should probably advise against this. And money probably shouldn't be spent on this. If people want to go out and do it with their own money, then that's a different story. But I don't think like public funds should be spent on that kind of bullshit, just to be clear. OK, um, so I just I just want to confirm because this, you know, do you have a study that demonstrates the point? that you're making at all which one the when you're talking about the idea that um you know a doctor would be would it would allow say some you like because the thing is i you know i know that the nhs does prescribe in limited circumstances for example maybe some acupuncture or something like that um but that tends to be if there's some sort of like um maybe like, like for example the, my understanding is there's at least some scientific evidence that chiropractic can help with like lower back pain in limited cases i just don't know a case where a doctor would be as permissive as you seem to be suggesting they would be of like homeopathy and i'm just wondering if you do have some study that backs up that specific point you're making um yeah so Given the scrutiny of the studies, if you want me to prep that stuff for you, I definitely can, but I would want to go through it with the fine tooth comb that you're going to go through it with. So I would want to check who the authors are. I would want to check what the institution is. I didn't do that with the first one and that's a problem. So I'm not going to just like Google something and give it to you right now. Um, but if you want me to like properly go through and look up that stuff, I certainly can. Like if you like NIH in particular, I could look through on NIH because I know for sure things like acupuncture are definitely on there. Okay. It's just that when we spoke on stream the other day, you gave me the impression that this was a lot more available and ready to you than it actually is. Um, yes. Yeah, so like in nursing stuff in particular, uh, it is, um, but if I went and got nursing stuff, I don't feel like that's necessarily what you're looking for here. So I would want to just kind of cater it to you. Like um, maybe it's right. helpful to give more context. So like sure. when I wrote papers and stuff, that's exactly what I would do with papers. Like if it's for nursing students, which is most of what my writing was, it's all nursing stuff. So that's just talking about like patient reports when they're coming out of the hospital or patient reports when they're going through different therapies. Um, but I think what you're asking for is a little bit different. Um, and so I would want to cater that to you. But if you'd like, I could definitely do that. Um, I mean, I mean, yeah, it's just, you know, you, you were very certain of this when we spoke and then you sent me a load of bullshit so far, which I understand. I get it. <laughs> OK, I understand. And I get it. But can you just yes. appreciate that you're acting like a smug cunt without a cause to be? Chad, let me shoot you straight, buddy. OK. Yeah. Let me explain it in a way you can understand. Okay. I've been a bit of a smug cunt.
Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Thanks, mate. <laughs> Listen, uh, you have to you have to acknowledge how tempting it was to just go full force there and just meme with you and burn the bridge. That would have been funny. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I do listen, I do like you, okay? But when s- some fucking books someone literally calls themselves book smarts comes to me with this stuff, um you know, and they act like they know better and then I'm like, "Hang on a second. I I just get a bit annoyed, okay? But I'm glad you were willing to admit that and I appreciate you, okay? I love you, buddy. I love you too, mate, okay? Thanks um, for coming on. Hold on. There sure. is something I want in exchange for giving you all this. Okay, go on. I need you to help me with PR in your chat because okay. I'm tired of your schizo fucking chatters DMing me and being annoying as fuck because okay. I got a bunch of messages and stuff after this. So if you want to field any questions, problems, concerns that your chat has, and we could like address those directly, yeah. I would be happy to do that. That might be good content. But if you don't want to, that's cool too. No, 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 let's do that. As long as you're happy to. Listen, you know, the thing is, even though I was a bit annoyed with you, like, you know, I always feel bad because I do like you. And it's like, you know, I don't want to be doing the thing which I criticize of like piling on someone or being unnecessarily mean. Um, so yeah, that but, mean to you you could be mean back i think that makes a lot of sense i sure, think you're just no no of course <laughs> but the thing is people don't always see that so they think i'm just being irrationally angry and shitty to you um but it, in any case yeah if you're comfortable doing that that would be interesting and i'd like to do that sure so we'll figure something for that out yeah okay okay um maybe like uh some I, I should be off today but like later this week well, I'll do something on my Discord and I'll say like questions for book smarts, issues with book smarts, etc. We'll get some questions together and I can you can come and I'll put them to you and we'll go from there. Okay, sounds good to me. Um, okay. Have a good rest of your stream, unless you wanted to talk about anything else. Um, no, I think we're good. Oh, um, so we are in understanding that the healthy gamer GG thing seems to be like a net positive for the people that engage in the program, right? Like Dr. K has these weird things with Ayurveda that I understand you disagree with or about the, the vodkas or whatever the fuck they're called. Um, but healthy gamer, like as an entity separate from Dr. K seems to do a lot of good, right? Um, I think that there are, I think as an individual, there's a chance you can engage with it and have a positive outcome, you know, um I, I don't disagree with that it's it, you know i just i just don't know the, the thing i'm trying to figure out i guess is does the positive outcome outweigh the bullshit and i just i don't know the answer to that yet you know because like, if you ask me if you could click your fingers what would you want to happen one answer to that would be dr k gets this bard and and this healthy gamer thing disappears and i don't know if that's what i would want you know um so yeah i <sighs> I don't know. I don't know yet. I don't know about the outcomes for people. You know, all I've seen is like the top level stuff. Obviously, he's beginning to have engaged with a lot of people. Um, some stuff I've seen is a bit troubling, but then there's people out there who probably have got a good experience off the back of it. So I'd need to look a bit more before I could really answer that. Okay. When you said the bullshit, are you talking about the bullshit with Dr. Care? Or is there bullshit that I'm unaware of with Healthy Gamer? Beyond what we talked about that one day. So there's some stuff that, that has come up that I've been um, kind of looking at. So one example of this is the coaches and the fact that the coaches don't really seem to have a meaningful amount of training before they speak to people about issues related in some way to mental health. And whilst I appreciate they talk about how they've got this onus on getting people to like an actual um, like professional person if necessary, um, yeah, I, I'm a bit like a question mark over that. Of What does that look like? How does that play out? Also, I spoke to another person that's engaged with a Dr. K directly. And he, I mean, obviously, it's only his experience is all I can go off for now. But he said he felt when he spoke to him, it's almost like he was probing him for content rather than trying to meaningfully engage with him and get to the root of his issue. So this comes into my thing of like, content being a perverse incentive in all of this and how much of a part does that play particularly with the earlier conversations when he was smaller um you know if people are being farmed for content they might feel good about it but is the fact they're being farmed for content bad and could it lead to worse outcomes in other cases you know so it's just a more questions i need to answer really if that makes sense yeah and that's all dr k's stuff like um 
Are you talking about the it's broader so- organization? Yeah, well, that, that, that I guess, okay, sorry to focus on that. I guess in terms of the coaches, it's just this like, okay, so they get a limited amount of training. What is it they actually do? What does a normal session look like? Even the guy that spoke to Mr. Girl, I have an issue with because he like contributed to his Patreon and tried to do it discreetly, but didn't realize he did it publicly. And obviously he <laughs> likes Mr. Girl. So I'm thinking, well, that's a problem. Like that to me isn't someone that I can look at and go, I can take everything you say free from any bias that I'd be concerned about or something like that. Do you, do you know what I mean? So yeah. I'd need to understand other coaches or maybe even speak to more people that have just interacted with coaches to try and understand. But even that can be difficult because if someone's had a bad experience, they're going to say it was shit. If someone's had a good experience, they're going to say it was good. So it's like... I'm a bit lost of how I would figure all that stuff out because I don't have access to Healthy Gamer to know what that looks like. So I need to figure that out. Well, here's a crazy idea. Why don't you go undercover? Why don't you make a dono goal for like your uh, therapy that's not therapy and go through it? That's that's a possible way. You go undercover, bro. Damn, that's a great idea. Okay. Yeah, I'll, uh, make it yeah. a YouTube video too. That would yeah. be fucking. <laughs> Whenever Mr. Girl comes out with his thing, just drop your thing at the same time and piggyback on it. I would watch the fuck out of that. Okay, I'll do that. Hell yeah, let's infiltrate the cult, dude. It'll I'll be see fun. what I can do. I'll see. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and um, sorry, I just you know I don't know how much you've seen of what I've been talking about, but like I don't know if you've seen some of the clips of Doctor K speaking about like dosha predicting covid outcomes and stuff like that i just don't know if you've gone yeah this. so the tough thing is like personally i kind of enjoy those like religious things as like analogies for understanding things i think he goes way too far with it like a lot of the time like he gets caught with his foot in his mouth saying some really stupid shit and i think that he honestly believes in that stuff as like a predictive you know, real, like, legitimate medical thing, and I really don't. I view it like I view religion. Like, it's helpful stories for understanding things, but I don't think that most of it has anything to do with reality or is, like, representative of reality or has any, okay. like, predictive potential. So that does that kind of explain my position on it? Yeah, no, absolutely. <laughs> um, no, I understand. I understand, yeah. Um because yeah i mean because obviously there's a statement now he's released on a stream where he said we're backed away from our Vieda because uh there's not like the sources we were looking at like weren't as legitimate as we thought or i'm paraphrasing and i'm just thinking mm. like well you're supposed to be a fucking doctor bro like how are you getting bamboozled by by bad scientific papers like that's wild to me um i know you said ha- a bit of a book smarts moment bro <laughs> <laughs> he's like oh this is for the journal of fucking ayurveda i totally fucking missed that dude wait <laughs> oh my god okay fair enough nice meme um, no but like yeah, that's fucked i i think like um we can be unhappy with like the way that he's handled it before and the way he's incorporated it and we can slap him on the wrist for that for sure and expect better of him because he should be able to do better um at the same time, and I hope this doesn't come off as copium, I'm happy to see him backing away from that because ultimately, uh, whether you want him to lose his license or whatever, I think this is a step in the direction that you'd like. Like, okay, yeah, step away from that, especially with the healthy gamer thing, because I consider it a separate entity from Dr. K. Like, yeah, let's, let's, <laughs> that shouldn't be involved with this. You can believe in that. You can say that in your interviews with people, but uh, don't mix that up with healthy gamer or you know don't use that to support the advice you're giving i think it stands on its own without that like he's a fine therapist without all that nonsense uh and it just takes away from what he's doing sure i'm i mean like i i don't just want to like battle with you you know but but the only thing i'd say is like i do this idea that he's a fine therapist that, that, like i agree with you yes it's great he's stepping away it just gives me more questions because I'm like, how is it a doctor got bamboozled by this in the first place? But I can agree it's good at least that he's stepping away. Um, you know, that's a good Is thing. it bad that I don't believe him? That he doesn't like believe the sources are right anymore? I low-key thinks he actually believes the sources. This is just like PR damage control personally. Maybe that impacts how I'm looking at it. I think he still oh, believes okay, in that's all interesting. that shit. Um, yeah, no, I mean, yeah, that's like, you know, kind of... 
I, I'm maybe being a bit more more generous in this conversation, but yeah, sure. I mean, I think like um, the so the fact that it's like I think it's like some Reddit posters that brought this to light. <laughs> and I'm like, you know, like it's crazy to me that you you, you what you all of a sudden a Reddit post has gone. Oh, hey, that science isn't actually as good as you think it is. And then he's going, oh yeah, well, how was I to know the orgones fucking going through the air wasn't scientifically backed? Oops, and uh, walking it back. Yeah, I think that there's definitely a way you could view this that it's like a PR move for sure yeah and and that's why like when you're like well he's a doctor he should know better how did he not catch this like mm, i think he knew <laughs> right, okay. i think he just didn't care because he believes in that stuff but uh, yeah and do you think he's a fine therapist because i see people in your chat i think he's kind of attractive but what do you think all i know is his public displays which are ostentatious spectacles, in my opinion. And mm. a th the, the quality of a therapist to me would be what happens in the quiet moments, what happens when you're one on one with a patient, you know, that, you know, what are the outcomes off the back of the therapy you give? That's the stuff that I would need to establish whether someone's a good therapist or not, you know. Um, you know, it's kind of like, is Dr. Phil a good doctor off the back of watching a few episodes of his TV show? Well, I can't, I can't figure that out because it's, entertainment i'm watching entertainment you know i'd need to understand more of his like actual doctor stuff to, to really know okay that's fair enough i think that's that's a smart position to take um well did you want to roast me at all uh anymore uh, I, I could I, go in a debate no, bro mode and we I could fight no no i don't want to roast <laughs> you but what i do want to ask is what do you think of uh, the nickname of you which uh I, I heard someone say really offensively uh book retard Somebody. Yeah, somebody said that for sure. Um, I think that some communities on the internet, um, they have a very vitriolic audience and they raise a flag or a banner. And that flag or banner this time is book retard. And uh, a lot of people have rallied behind that. And I think uh, the problem is not with these poor, impressionable people. It's probably with the people uh, raising the banner, bro. Yeah, for sure. Damn. I had a, uh, I had a Stephen Bunnell moment, I think. I'm going to call that one. All right. Hmm. Well, hopefully you don't get departnered for that one. <laughs> hopefully you don't go <laughs> full Stephen Bunnell. <laughs> okay. Yeah, hopefully. Fingers crossed. All right. Okay. Love you, Chud. Love um, you too, mate. If you want to let your people roast me and you get low on content or whatever else, just let me know. I'll, okay. I'll stick through it. Thanks, mate. Okay. Bye-bye. That was a good conversation.